What's going on, you guys? Thank you so much uh, for tuning in, for watching. Um, I just wanted to get on here real quick and talk about spiritual things. Um, definitely want to emphasize um, that demon possession is real. And um, I just wanted to share my testimony and experience with that as a a little girl and um, how that manifested um, as I got older. <laughs> So I thank God. First, I want to give God the glory. And I, I'm so thankful that um, he is a redeemer. God is in the redeeming business. He's in the healing business. Um, God will turn our mess into a message. And just to uh, for those that have gone through things or maybe going through things to know that God can restore you. God can heal you. God will save you if you believe and trust in him. So, um yeah, back when I was like, I would say uh, when I was like nine, eight or nine years old is is when um, I I became demon possessed. Um, as far back as I can remember, um, the manifestations um, just begin to, to come and and show in my life. And um, there's just different doors that contributed to that. But um, one in particular um, I used to spend a night all the time, you know, I had childhood, um, friends and, you know, we were all close and, and, you know, the same age and around the same age. And, you know, my parents were, were friends with their parents and, you know, it was a, a small knit community. Like we all, um, knew each other. We were next door neighbors and, you know, all, all of us, all the kids, you know, would hang out, you know, this is back when we would play in the streets and make up all types of games and play tents. And, you know, it, it was, uh, it was, it was fun back then. But, um, so I spent the night over a friend's house and, um, she had an older sister, older sister, and it was just during those times. And this is just, you know, pure ignorance and just naive, um, just for, for me, just being a child, you know, not really understanding the, uh, depth of what was taking place. Um, this is a child, uh, uh, the mind of an eight, nine year old, you know? Um, so we would, um, play games like, uh, we, we had the Ouija board. Uh, we had, we were doing a lot of things in witchcraft, a lot of occultic things. Um, not me back then, of course, not even understanding the totality of what was going on, the doors, demonic doors that had opened up in my life because of my uh, participation in these things, not really understanding. And um, I would just say like to parents to definitely, um, definitely know who your kids are hanging out with, know the families, know the families. And that, and that's no knock on um, my parents because, you know, um, they knew uh, my best friends. Um, they knew my best friend back then, my childhood friend. But, you know, um, you just got to be careful. You just got to be careful nowadays with, um, you know, kids spending the night. Um, it was nothing of my childhood friend, but it was her older sister. You know what I'm saying? So um, we would do seances, y'all. We would stand in a circle. We did, I mean, I'm having fun. Like, I'm thinking this stuff is fun. I'm thinking, like you know, um, just doing like hocus pocus type stuff. Um, you know, uh, playing bloody Mary and, and going into the bathroom with the light off and speaking into the mirror, you know, light as a feather, stiff as a board, you know, those types of games, all, all the cultic demonic, um, things, um, a Ouija board demonic, you know, you're, you're tapping into, uh, the, the spiritual realm, dark, um, things in, in the spiritual realm. So we would hold hands and have seances, y'all. And I, I'll never forget um, one time, like, we had, we were standing in like a circle holding hands. The Ouija board was down on the floor and we had candles lit. Like, this this was like a, a scene almost from, what can I think of, like Exorcist, Exorcist or it was just candles lit. And um, the Ouija board was literally moving 
that it was moving and spelling out things. And um, I just remember all these things taking place. And I just remember being fascinated by this stuff and um, not even understanding what was happening, what was happening. So, um, and let me put a side note here. Um, the spirit realm is very real. Uh, evil powers are very real, but the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of God trumps all satanic uh, power, period. Let me, let me say that, you know, so people are like, oh, you know, let me say that the power of the Holy Spirit knocks down any power of Satan, period, period, consumes it. So, um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for, I just thank the Lord. So, um, from that, you know, we would do those things and, you know, from that, the manifestations begin to bear fruit in my life, um, you know, by the time I was nine, 10 years old, I was demon possessed. Like, I, the demon's name that possessed me, the demon had a name. The demon's name was Kevin. And, um, you know, I, I was not myself. I was not myself. I was into a lot of, uh, dark and demented things. And, um, I just wanted to torture things, you know, animals. I wanted to inflict pain. Um, and I got joy out of it. You know, the, this is the things, you know, of a, of, of a nine, 10 year old, you know, um, you know, my, my personalities, I can really understand, you know, when the Bible speaks on, um, legion, you know, there's a, a, a parable, uh, or a, a story in the Bible that talks about a man that was possessed by thousands of demons and his name was legion. A legion is at least like 5,000. So there was a legion of demons in him. And, you know, Jesus cast out those demons out of him. So, um, you know, I, I things just became dark. It just got worse. It became dark. And, um, you know, I eventually started to, um, I became a cutter. Like, I just like to inflict pain. Like, the craziest thing is I would like to, cutting myself gave me a satisfaction that I couldn't, I, I can't even explain to you, like inflicting pain on myself, um, uh, gave me a satisfaction. And that was just the, that was the demon that was possessing me. The demon demons hate got all things of God. We are created in God's image. So the, the, the demon o demons ultimate goal was to completely destroy me, kill me. Because, you know, when I was uh, 14 or 15, I tried to commit suicide. I tried to uh, drink uh, the Joy Detergent. And um, I drunk it straight out the bottle, the yellow lemon flavor. Drunk it straight out the bottle. And by God's grace, um, I just had a, um, a, a bad stomach ache and I laid down and went to sleep. But I, I attempted to kill myself. And, um, God didn't let it happen because the demon was trying to kill me. And, um, so I, I would cut myself and I would take a, I would take like a, a razor and I would put just a line on my face. I would put a line on my cheek with the razor and it would just be like across my face. And see, we always had cats growing up. So I used to lie and blame it on the cats. I'd be like, oh, you know, the cat scratched me. That's what I would tell my parents. I'd be like, oh, the cat scratched me. But it was just, I would literally just cut. I was too afraid to like cut my wrist. So I would just cut like um, my cheek. And I mean, that's what I would do. You know, this is just from the time I was like eight years old all the way up. And it just got progressively worse progressively worse to to like I was numb I, I I became a numb person um cold person and very uh calculated person and um just the things that I would do um I would detach from things and this is why truthfully I can really understand the mind of someone that um 
it, it, it has a what is the word I'm looking for? Um, those that just uh like serial killers and and not saying that I was a serial killer, but I can understand the possession that takes place because you 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 have you are completely given over to these spirits completely and it's like you are just blank and um you know that's so i i just want to share that testimony and um that god can deliver you god can heal you he did it for me he delivered me from being tormented i was tormented you know i was very tormented as a as a child i was very tormented i was severely depressed i was like a manic depressant and i kid you not if they would have uh diagnosed me as a child they would have easily said i um was bipolar or schizophrenic that's why i said like i can understand like i get like that mind i get it because um i was heavily possessed heavily possessed as a child like as a child and you know demons don't come by themselves they bring, they bring their friends. They bring, you know, other spirits of depression, of violence. You know, they bring these other, these other demonic spirits in too. You know, the Bible talks about, um, you know, the, the, the enemy is always looking for a house to possess. You know, when we, we hear about the, um, the scripture about when a demon is cast out and they go to and fro looking for, you know, in dry land, like looking for somewhere to inhabit. So they are all, and this is why the enemy likes to attack children because, you know, children are innocent. They don't know any better. Okay. Um, but let me say this again, like the Lord Jesus can deliver you call on his name call on his name he can set you free he set me free he set me totally free you know but you know these are the things that we got to talk about we got to be truthful about um we got to be transparent about 